So when I trained as an actor and I decided after leaving the third year and having the showcase and my career not necessarily taking off in the way that I'd hoped uh, to retrain as a director. I decided then really it was a case of how can I take what I love in regard to theatre and make it a, a career worth having and pursuing with the other side of it which is sort of the, the hospitality trade side of things. So we started looking at venues that had a, a workable bar and a workable live music space that had a theatre on top of it to combine the two careers that a lot of actors I feel have. You spend half your year acting, you spend half your year pouring drinks. And so we decided as a, as a family, it's a family run business, to, um, to get some roots in Eastbourne. We, we expand the pool of artists we use daily because people are hungry to come and see and produce and work on new writing in a space. I think theatre has a responsibility to sum up or, or be part of the current zeitgeist to be able to look back in years gone by and, and say, well, we, we knew what people felt about what was happening politically because we had the art. So as long as it's vital, as long as it's really strong and it says something really important that can get people off the streets that don't normally come to the theatre, that excites me. Really, if you, if you are an aspiring actor, an aspiring artist who feels that their career hasn't really been given the, the chance, uh, the springboard to sort of get into this uh, professional world, well then come down to the Grove Theatre and come down to Prince's Playhouse because we're willing to listen, we're willing to give you a chance, and we're not gonna charge you astronomical amounts of money to do it. We, we aren't anything without you guys, so you know, we're only as strong as the community that supports us.